You know, I'm often asked how the real estate market is doing in Jacksonville, Florida. And since it's such a popular question, I figured what better way to respond than to do a video for you guys. So I'm going to give you the housing market update for Jacksonville. And if you're not from the area, that means just Duval County. I work about five other, five other counties around Jacksonville, but for this video, it's just Jacksonville. So right off the bat, if you put your house on the market, you can expect it to be on the market for about 40 days before it goes under contract. Now that's the median number of days on market before a house go, or a listing goes under contract. And that's up about 20% compared to October. So things are kind of, you know, there, there's buyers out there, but there's not as many, of course, demand is slowed, but houses are still selling. It's just taking a little bit longer. Don't worry, 40 days is really not a long time when you think about it. The median sales price is kind of holding strong. It's at 325,000 just in Duval County. That's dropped about 2% compared to October, but it's still up almost 5% compared to November of last year. So if you think there's a housing crash or prices have bottomed out, I don't see that when you look at the numbers. The number of closed sales is 685 for the month of November. That's just in Duval County, reminding you again. And there's 13.1% of the houses that sold uh, closed over list price. That's down 12% from October, but that still tells me that there are a lot of people still getting more than asking price and there are still some multiple offer situations going on. New listings, our inventory is still a bit of a problem, but it is climbing. But new listings in November was 1,321 total, which is down 22% from October. People are getting about 96.7% of their list price, which is down about a half a percent compared to October. Now I will tell you, if you're a buyer in this market and you're looking in Jacksonville, it's really still a good time to buy if you take mortgage interest rates off the table. Now, mortgage rates have dipped from their peak. I think it was about seven and a quarter not too long ago. And I think they're around six and a half, six and three quarters right now. Um, and you can do some creative things to bring that down as well, including asking the sellers who are more open to it now to buy down your mortgage interest rate. There's some other things that sellers are doing too. They're getting more realistic with their pricing and they're also more willing to negotiate and throw in some concessions to help you with things like closing cost, your mortgage interest rate, they can buy down your interest rate. There's a lot of creative things that you can ask them to do. If you're looking for new construction, the builders are actually uh, reducing prices and they're, make, they're throwing in some incredible incentive packages to get people in those homes. If you have questions about any of these things, or if you would like to know more about new construction, what builders are doing, if you want to know the most motivated sellers in the Jacksonville area, give me a few minutes. I can type it out for, I can punch in a few numbers and I can send you a list of those, which I call motivated sellers. If they're reducing their price, which we're seeing a lot of them right now, that means that they're motivated to get out of there. Also, if you're selling, the numbers just showed you that if you price it properly, you still may get multiple offers. It's going to take a little bit longer than it has the last few years to sell your house, but really 40 days, if you look back at it, 40 days is not a long time. I remember years ago, uh, especially after the market crash in 2007, early 2008, it was taking six months to a year to sell houses. So 40 days is nothing in the scheme of things. If you have a question about real estate, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to answer. Like I said, if you don't mind, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. My name is Mike Jones, Jacksonville's Voice of Real Estate. Thank you for watching.